Miranda's operated a stud here for over 40 years. And in that time, Bernard and Louise have managed to increase the productivity of this country through farming and through development. I see a family operation as offering the capacity for a long-term view. There's things that we do here which won't pay us back for the next two years or three years. It's the next five, 10, 15 years. And that's where I see a family business is critical to giving somebody that long-term view. We're careful to bring in experience from outside and that's especially useful when we're looking at, at how better to measure our cattle, how better to judge their performance, and it gives us the tools to be able to make the right management decisions here. But of course, there's immense knowledge and experience within the business already, so we've got to leverage that. We've got to be able to use the people close to this business. So we use the full breadth of tools when we're selecting cattle. Obviously, there's that EBV data, that we utilise, but we will go through that female herd, through the bull herd continuously and look for structure, look for coat, um, look for that special animal that is suited to a particular environment, a particular herd. We're constantly updating how we select. So we select using measured traits, we select bulls for example with their semen information but increasingly we're looking at how do we push our animals even further? How do we get more out of our heifers? Uh, how do we get them to produce more consistently at a younger age? How do we get the bulls that we produce to be those prolific bulls, those prolific sires that we know will deliver themselves more prolific calves? We have a standard that all animals that we sell, bulls and females, must meet. I think it's important that we retain diversity. So above a standard, we're producing a group of animals that are still very diverse. They're diverse in the pattern of growth, they're diverse in their pattern of fertility, so that each of those bulls can go out and perform under different operations, under different conditions. And I think that's important. You have to retain diversity among your herd. I see this operation as a dynamic operation in the skills we've got and the technology we can bring on board so that our herd will continuously improve. Five years we'll have different methods, different tools, but ultimately we will continuously be pushing the barriers, pushing the edges of how we can develop better cattle, better suited to those different environments.